<laughs> if the rest of February is as good as its first three days, manga is going to have a very good month. Just to give you a little pretext here, uh, the top lot for February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd sold for $950 US. The top individual volume of manga sold for $400 US. This is a really good three days. Okay, let's get into the top runs for February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And man, we've got some good ones today. Uh, coming in at number 10, Lone Wolf and Cub, volumes 1 through 28. That's 28 books. Went for 300 bucks for an average value of $10.71 American uh, from Dark Horse 2013. Number 9, no stranger to this list, Vagabond, Viz Big Editions, volume 1 through 12. That's all of them. Went for $352, or about $29.34 each. This Media, 2008. Number eight is a huge seller. I had no idea that this manga has sold over 34 million copies worldwide. Very popular. Probably that's why people want to pay $364 for it, uh, the complete run of 23. It's uh, Fruits Baskets, volumes 1 through 23. 364 bucks, Tokyo Pop, 2009. Number seven, Pandora Hearts, volumes one through 24, went for $395. That's about $16.46 each from Yen Press, 2009. Number six is a prime example of just because it's not hugely expensive doesn't mean it's bad. Usually it's the opposite. The most popular manga are the ones that are the heaviest printed and they're the the most the best selling is the most read um, this is the case with this one it's attack on titan uh, it includes no regrets it's 36 volumes went for 400 dollars now that only averages out to about 11 dollars per book but the thing is like attack on titan hugely popular uh, great anime great manga uh, from kadansha 2012 and the only reason it made this list is basically because it's 36 volumes. If it had been 24, it uh, would not have made the list. But again, expensive does not equal good. It just means it's hard to find. Anyways, let's get on to number five. Speaking of popular, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist, volumes 1 to 24. 24 volumes went for $407, about $16.94 per book. Viz Media, 2013. Yu-Gi-Oh! Huge fan base still. I always see it on eBay. Very popular. Number four is a classic. It's very uh, well received and regarded as one of the best uh, written manga. It's Monster. The Deluxe Edition, Volumes 1 through 9, sold for $464 or about $51.59 each from Viz Media 2014. Not one I've read, but I would like to read it at some point. And speaking of ones I would love to read at some point, number three, Battle Royale Ultimate Edition, volumes one through five. That's five volumes, which went for $600, or about $120 a piece. Now, they're not all worth $120. Some are worth less, and some are worth more. And you're going to find out when we hit the singles list, which one especially is worth a lot of money. That's from Tokyo Pop, 2007. Number two, uh, huge seller for Dark Horse, Berserk Deluxe Editions, Volumes 1 through 12, went for $629 or $630, $52.50 a piece, uh, Dark Horse 2019. Berserk continues to do very well for Dark Horse, and honestly, I'm so glad to see that. And great series, great series. And finally, we come to number one, purchased by viewer of the channel, Thomas. And yes, Thomas, you made the list, especially since I, I did these uh, completed run listings now. It's uh, Magi, The Labyrinth, Labyrinth of Magic, Volumes 1 through 37, $950. That's $25.68 per book, Viz Media 2013. That's a huge uh, sale, but as you can see, like $25, $26 per volume for something that's been out of print isn't outrageous, actually. So, but congratulations, Thomas. I'm so happy for you that uh, you got this one, and 
maybe if, if I win my listing today, I'll put it up and it should go for a lot cheaper. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the individual titles. Um, and I've got, there's a lot. I've got a lot of, I've got nine honorable mentions just because the sales were so strong. I mean, number 10 was basically $77. So there was a lot I wanted to get into uh, without, you know, they didn't make the list, unfortunately. But let's get into them. Okay, my first honorable mention is Trapped in a Dating Sim, Volume 5. Again, light novel, $49.99 Airship, which is an imprint of Seven Seas from 2022. Second honorable mention is actually two books that went for the same price. They went for $62. Uh, it's Gossip Girl Volume 1 and Gossip Girl Volume 2 from Yen Press 2010. I had no idea that Gossip Girl was a CW show. Honorable mention number four is Domu, A Child's Dream. It went for $63.74 from Dark Horse 1996. The reason I put this one on here is because these have gone for a lot more. So I just wanted to show everybody that... Uh, just because it went for like $100 one day doesn't mean it's going to go for $100 every day. It could go for, you know, 50 the next. Who knows? It just depends. It's eBay. Who's buying at that time? Who, who can sell it for the most or the cheapest? So it's all over the place. Next one, honorable mention number five, Phoenix, Volume 3 of Samo Tezuka, um, $67.50, Viz Media 2003. Just love to see. Uh, as the godfather of manga, and Eniosama Tezuka. Uh, other days, this would have made the list. Today, it does not. Honorable mention number six, Freezing Omnibus, volumes 11, 12. Uh, went for $69, 7 Cs, 2016. We see a lot of freezing the omnibuses on here. And uh, it looks cool. I Is it one I'll buy? Probably not. But again, it looks kind of neat. Honorable num mention number seven, Blue Spring, this is a single volume, uh, went for $75, Viz Media, 2004. It seemed kind of cool. It was a collection of uh, connected short stories about uh, kids in high school. Honorable mention number eight, Oh My Goddess, volume 18, Sealed, uh, Dark Horse, 2004. Very rare to get these old uh, manga still in the wrap. Happy to see Oh My Goddess on here. But you know what? It's not the only time. We're going to have an Oh My Goddess on this list today. Spoiler ahead. So, without further ado, let's get into the list. Number 10, One Piece Gold Foil Edition, Volume 1, $77, Viz Media, 2003. You know it's going to be a good day when the One Piece Gold Foil Edition, Volume 1, barely makes it on the list. Number 9. Series I'd never heard of before, but look kind of like a good romantic one. Uh, Strobe Edge, Volume 6, $89.98, Viz Media, 2013. Number 8 is a strange one. We've seen it on the list before. It's Lord Marksman and Venatus, Volume 1. But I can tell you on January 26, Volume 1 and Volume 2 sold for like about 30 bucks. So I'm just, I think there's copies of this out there. Uh, it just depends on what day it's selling, to be honest. So, anyways, it went for $89.99, 7 Cs, 2016. Number 7, I told you it was coming. Oh My Goddess, Volume 43, Sealed, Still in the Wrap, $89.99, Dark Horse 2013. Uh, it was the same price as number 8, it's basically $90. Uh, the reason I put it ahead is because it's an older uh, volume. Number six, and I've mentioned this before, uh, this is the valuable one, Maiden Abyss, Volume 7, $98.99, 7 Cs, 2019. And speaking of how things can go for different prices on different days, let's go to number five, Maiden Abyss, Volume 7, $120, 7 Cs, 2019. So you can see, just depending on the day, it could go for, you know, 20% 20, 20 difference, basically. And speaking of sealed books, we have Gallants, Volume 30, Sealed, went for $140, Dark Horse, 2014. Number three was an interesting one. It was one I, I hadn't heard of, but I've heard of the author, Tayo uh, Matsumoto. Um, 
primarily from his work on black and white, but it's number five, volume one, $149, Viz Media 2021. It's actually rare to see these Viz Media ones uh, pop up so high on the list, especially when they're so new like this. Uh, 2021 wasn't that long ago. Normally Viz will publish enough that there's not like this crazy demand for their newer stuff, right? Um, but you know what? Number two is also a Viz Media product. And this one is rare because it's higher up in the volumes. Volume, it collects volumes 35 through 36. It's Ranma one half, two in one omnibus, $200. Viz Media 2017. Uh, this is no strange to the list. And honestly, in my heart, I'm so glad to see some Ranma one half on here. So it's great. But it's not number one. Number, the number one title actually doubled this amount. It went for 400 bucks. Number one, Battle Royale. Ultimate Edition Volume 5, $399.99, Tokyo Pop 2009. Battle Royale, it's like Umineko. Basically, anytime they sell, they tend to make the list. Uh, one of those rare ones that people want. So, there you have it. Like I said, man, if uh, the rest of February continues like this, it's going to be a strong month for manga, but it's uh, good to see some of these strong uh, sales and Again, congratulations to uh, Thomas on his Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic. The complete run, baby. Anyways, I'm going to put up my spreadsheet and we'll talk to everybody again. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back with the uh, fourth to the sixth um, probably in the next couple days. Talk to everyone later. Bye-bye.